questions. Yeah, hey Matt, uh, Dave said that he, you guys had kicked around the idea of you leading off before and then you'd done it at San Jack and stuff. What do you think about being in that spot and how did it feel today? Yeah, it's fine, fine by me. Uh, I like, I like leading off. Uh, I've done it. I've done it a lot in my past. Uh, I did it. Uh, I did it pretty much my whole life until I got to my senior year of high school. I hit third my senior year and let off pretty much every game that I hit at San Jack. And uh, I actually think I hit third the one game that uh, Coach Van Horn came to watch me actually. And uh, ever since then, it's, uh, I mean, the, the idea has been the idea has been there, and I just you know. It is what it is. I'm just happy to be in the lineup. And, uh, you know, the eight home runs today, did y'all have a, a good feel that the wind might it might be jumpy a little bit today? Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the wind shifted a little bit between BP and uh, BP in the game, and it kind of kind of spins around at bomb. You guys may know. Uh, no, we're, we're just looking to go up and have good at-bats and take good swings and hit the ball hard. Thanks, Matt. Nate? I guess with A&M coming up this weekend, you got any memories of their pitching staff and just kind of, you know, what do you, what do you know about the Aggies? Uh, traditionally, they always have a really good staff. Um, <laughs> not sure what their, their pitching coach does, but uh, they make, they, uh, they make their stuff look good. And uh, you know that when we went there in uh, 19, they, they could all pitch. They were all really good. Uh, they had Doc Sackis and uh, I don't think we got to face Lacey, but, he was there as well, and uh, I, mean, several, I mean, plenty of guys I could name, but uh, like I said, traditionally, they're really good pitchers, and we're going to have to be uh, on top of our game if uh, we want to be successful. A couple of games like these these two this week help you prepare for that series, you think? Yeah, absolutely. Any, any game against uh, live pitching is going to help, I believe, and uh, I think – I think more importantly than just seeing pitches, it's also giving guys confidence to be successful during the midweeks and taking that confidence and carrying it over into the weekend series in the SEC is, uh, I think, very important. Thanks. Hutch. Matt, what were you uh, looking for? What did you get there on your uh, leadoff home run to start the game? Uh, leadoff, I was looking uh, – I was looking 3-1 just for – just for something straight and uh, end up getting, getting a fastball more middle in and uh, just work to stay behind it and drive it. If, if it's going to be the other way, I was going to work on hitting it hard up the middle and uh, turned into inside pitch. I turned, turned on. And I know, I think it cleared the, the building out there. Do you know, are you the first guy that that's, that's cleared that building in a game? And, and what was that like to know you cleared the, the new building? <laughs> Uh, I, I wasn't real sure where it landed, but uh, I know that uh, we got some we've got some left-handed hitters that have have some pop and can hit it with authority. Uh, not real sure, <laughs> not real sure if I was the first or what, but uh, I know you know I mean Slavens and those guys. Eh? It's it's not uncommon for them to hit it up there during BP or anything like that. Randy. Matt, have you ever had a day like you had today? You went four for four, five RBIs, a double, uh, two home runs. Have you ever had a day like that before? Uh, I can't say that I have. Not that I can think of offhand. Um, uh, I mean, I've had statistically where I've had, you know, four or five hits in a game so in my college career, but I don't think I've ever had, a, had one that contained multiple home runs. And the other thing is, how long did it take, did you feel like, to adjust to the speed of the UAPB pitchers? Uh, I mean, I know when you're used to hitting 94 mile an hour fastballs, and the best one you might see is 84. I mean, there were even a couple of pitches that got into the upper 60s. How difficult was it to adjust your timing? Uh, it can be a little bit uh, difficult at first. Um, uh, I think we as a program and a, staff, a hitting staff do a very good job of uh, preparing before the game and preparing on what we're going to see, you know, whether it's, some, you know, first round arm or someone that's throwing fastballs in the low to mid 80s. I think that 
our pregame work is the critical part to the adjustment. I think that makes the biggest difference in uh, our hitting hitting program and hitting staff. We do a great job of preparing for the game. Oh, do you have anything else? Yeah, uh, yeah, Dave was talking about you as playing first base. I mean, how do you feel like you did? Is there anything you you know would like to work on uh, in case you have to play first base you know, on a weekend? Um, not not super excited about my my play over there today, but uh, I I'm, I don't lack confidence there. That's not the thing. I don't have a don't have a whole lot of innings over there, and I'm excited whenever I do get the opportunity to go. And, show what I can do. I guess the part that frustrates me is the few times that I do get to go over there, I'd want to make the best of it and prove that I belong on the field to play defense. And, uh, you know, when you make an error, that's not exactly, that's not exactly the trending in the right direction, if you will, for that. But, uh, I mean, at the same time, I, I, like I said, I don't like confidence. I just made a mistake. One of the plays was pretty difficult. Uh, could have been scored either way, I think, but the end of the day it is what it is hogs win thanks for your time matt appreciate it